next one up is Instrument Extractor. My name is uh, Thomas and on the computer is Matthias and we proudly present our Instrument Extractor. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> what is the Instrument Extractor? Hmm. So, what we uh, were trying to do this uh, weekend is to extract individual instruments from audio files. And you might ask, why would we want to do that? Why? <laughs> so um, we want to use this um, when we, for example, map the, um, the audio files to, to scores, to interactive uh, sheet music. Then um, it would be a nice feature if you, as a user, could um, turn on and off individual instruments and um, like hear it from I don't know from a different angle with like leaving out the one or other instrument. So this is what we tried to achieve. And how we did this will tell you Matthias. So, um, so the idea is that we that we use live recordings of um, of musicians which uh, with high quality and then get these instruments out because it would be cool to practice with these uh, with these uh, sounds uh, to have a nicer experience when practicing and the idea is to um, use the audio file use um, uh, the sheet music as an XML for example and use um, uh, so called score following so. Uh, some algorithm that follows along. So we have something like that um, uh, developed. Um, of course, never, never ready thing, but it's more or less working. <laughs> and and we could uh, use that to synchronize. Um, uh, here, uh, uh, um, Sonatina from Clementi um, um, to to get uh, a mapping between the audio time and the sheet time. And so we know now where which note should be played. And in the second step, uh, we uh, then, so to say, we go through this, uh, these audio timestamps and we can generate, of course, from the audio, we can generate in chunks the spectral components, uh, so they're just an FFT, more or less, um, of these audio chunks. And we can generate from the music XML file which notes should be now um, audible, so should be heard. So we can calculate the spectral mask that we um, multiply with the, with the spectrum, which is now really just uh, in the audio file. So we can mask out all the rest and just um, uh, multiply or, or extract the thing that you should hear um, from, the, from the sheet music. And so we can select only one of the instruments, let's say the first violin, and only use the mask of the first violin and multiply it on, and then in the end, inverse FFT back to a, to a time signal and get the audio file back. And yeah, and we, we tried that. So actually that I can show you directly now. So we tried that now with this file, um, um, this Clementi file, second movement. So this is the original, I hope you hear now something. So this is the original one, um, and now, for example, only the uh, the right hand, the the higher voice, with some artifacts. I have to say, so we couldn't get rid of that for the demo now. And you hear also that uh, the, the whole noise in the background, you also see that, um, that you have here this noise floor, um, which is now, can be cancelled out completely, of course, because all the noise, we just leave it, uh, we, we put it away, right? And so we only take out the parts that really should be heard. I mean, of course, this has to be optimized <laughs> from, from, the, from the idea. <laughs> and here is now the, the lower voice.
yeah, so <laughs> that's the demo that we managed to, to build. <laughs> um, and I, uh, I, I would say that we can uh, optimize a lot on that so that, for example, also the transient starts of the nodes where you, of course, have more spectral components always when a node starts. Then you have to you can you have to increase your mask at this point and then narrow it again down and so on and you can do even more um, yeah so like putting an FFT exactly at the window you want and so on because you know where it should be so yeah um, so it can be also used for noise cancelling and for clearing up spectra so yeah <laughs> that's the idea. <laughs>